It's Mr. Marr! <laughs> Miss Carrie! Hey, it's John! <laughs> Hi, I'm Body Pete. <laughs> Mr. Matt! Champs, welcome back to our online lessons. It's a new month, which means we have a new theme, a new Bible verse to memorize, and brand new stories to learn. All month long, we will learn how we can believe in God. We will learn how I spy with my little eyes all the things that help me believe in Jesus. In this lesson, we will do seven things. First, we will have worship. Next, we will listen to our Bible story told by our buddies. Then we will watch our Bible video, followed by WH time to answer small group questions. We will then practice our monthly Bible verse and make a craft. Lastly, we will talk to God by praying. So let's go get started. Hello everyone, it's time to get up and worship off those feet. All this month long, we are going to talk about Jesus and how much I believe in Jesus. Do you believe in Jesus? I believe in Jesus. When we come to believe in Jesus, you say, I can believe in Jesus. Hey champs, Mr. Mark here. Today's a great day because I brought something fun to do. I got some paper up here, I got some paper right here. What are we gonna do with paper? Well, you know, like if you like Bob Ross, you like, you like make a little happy tree here in the corner, but that's not what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna do something really fun. You remember how we do like I spy? We're gonna do I spy with my little eye something hidden on that paper. We got a hidden word on this paper. Let's see if we can figure it out. I got my marker. I got some paper. I got a hidden message here. Keep your eyes peeled and tell me when you start seeing letters. Tell me, okay? Oh, can you see it? I see some letters forming. Let's see. That looks a little bit like an H. Can you see the H? Can you see it right there? Hmm, H. 
what could come next? Let's try. Hmm, what letter do we see? What letter do we see? It's kind of hard to see, but I can see it with my little eye. I see. What letter is that? E! Yes, very good. E! Here we go. Let's keep going. I spy with my little eye. An L. There we go. H E L. Hmm. What could it be? What can it be? Let's do another one. Let's do some more. Oh my goodness, I see another letter. What comes next? What comes next? I see going, H E L L. Oh my goodness. What have we got here? H E L L O. <gasps> Hello! Hello is what it says, just like that magic. Magic of television. Hello! Let's do another one. I'm so excited. I can't. I dropped my marker. I'm so excited. Hmm, that was fun. I spy with my little eye. Hmm, you know, not all of us speak English. Some of us speak Espanol. So let's try and find an I spy word in Espanol. Hmm, I see something coming in. Oh, look at that. That's the same letter as hello. Look at that. The H from hello is there. Hmm. An O, like the end of hello. Look at that. Let's keep going. This is exciting. That's an L. Hmm. What's going to be the last word? Does anybody out there speak Espanol? Because we've got H O L. Let's see. Mm, someone told me to use the side of the crayon, the side of the marker, and it is working so much better. <gasps> oh, I still don't know. H O L A. I know it. Hola. Like, hola. How you doing? Hello. Right? Oh, I love Spanish. Yo, know, Mr. Mark's wife, Miss Claudia, she's from Mexico. And she speaks Spanish really nice. Not like Mr. Mark. Mr. Mark speaks broken Spanish. Hola. That means hi in Spanish. Can you say that to your neighbor? Hola, neighbor. Hola. We can say it to our neighbors to the south. Hola, neighbor. I think that's cool to know two ways. Two ways to say hello. Hello and hola. You can say hello to your friends, or if you know that they speak Espanol, you can say hola. Saying hello is a really nice thing to do, and it's what Jesus wants us to do every day, everywhere, to everyone. Well, I gotta go for now, and remember, we might hear a lesson later about people speaking different languages. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Mr. Mark out. Hi champs, are you ready for some more Bible I Spy today? All right, great, I love playing I Spy with you. Today's true Bible story begins with a man named Peter. And Peter, you guys, he was a fisherman. That means he would get in a boat and he would go out on the water and he would catch fish. Hmm. When I go fishing, I use a fishing pole. So let's do a little I spy together, okay? Let's get our binoculars ready. All right, I spy with my little eye a long pole with a string on the end of it. It's a fishing pole, you guys, come on. Let's look for the fishing pole together. Hmm, is it over here? Let's see, are we getting closer? <gasps> 
Oh my goodness, there's two fishing poles. Do you see it? Good job, guys. All right, you guys, we found it. It's a fishing pole. Here it is. This fishing pole is going to help us remember Peter, okay? Peter, he believed in Jesus because Peter saw with his own eyes that Jesus is alive. One day, Jesus told Peter and his other friends that he was going to leave and come back later. But Jesus said, I want you to remember three things. Number one, tell everyone everywhere that Jesus is alive. Number two, that Jesus loves you. And number three, Jesus, he wants to be your friend forever. This is the perfect time to play I Spy. So get your binoculars ready. Okay, I spy with my little eye, two hearts and the world. Okay, friends, let's see if we can find two hearts and the world. Hmm, let's see. Oh my goodness, I think I found it. Did you see it? There they are, two hearts and a world. We found two hearts and the world. These are going to help us remember to tell everyone, everywhere, Jesus is alive and that Jesus loves you and that Jesus, he wants to be our friend forever and ever, you guys. Good job. After Jesus gave his friends this special job, he left and he went to heaven. Jesus' friends told everyone, everywhere, that Jesus is alive and that Jesus loves me and that Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Then one day, some men who were different than Peter, they knocked on his door. The men, they asked Peter to come to their house and tell all of their friends about Jesus. So. Peter, he remembered that Jesus, he loves everyone, right? No matter what they look like or what language they speak or where they live or what they have done. So Peter said, yes, I will go to your house. Peter said, yes, even though they were different than him. Hmm, Peter is gonna see different people. So let's get our binoculars ready and we're gonna play I spy with my little eye. A lot of people who are different. Come on, let's see if we can find them. Okay guys, do you see toy people anywhere? Look with me. Let's see if we can find some different people. Oh my goodness, look at over here. Oh wow, that's a lot of different people. Good job, champs. Look you guys, we found many people who are all different. These people are gonna help us to remember Peter told all of the people about Jesus, even though they were different than him. Peter told them about the amazing things Jesus did that only he can do. Peter told them how Jesus, he died and he came back. Peter told them that he knows that Jesus is alive because he saw Jesus, he talked with him, and he even ate food with Jesus. Woo, that's awesome. After Peter told the people about Jesus, they believed in Jesus too, because everyone, everywhere can believe in Jesus. That's why when I ask you, who can believe in Jesus? I want you to say, everyone can believe in Jesus. So tell me, who can believe in Jesus? Mm-hmm, everyone can believe in Jesus. Now, can you whisper it? Who can believe in Jesus? Everyone can believe in Jesus. Good job, champs. It was great seeing you today. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, champs. It's time to listen to Ollie the Owl. Who? Who? Ollie the Owl. Let's go. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see today's special? Ta-da! 
<laughs> They're my tell all the world cupcakes. I made them because today's story is about how we can tell the whole world about Jesus. If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today we are going to play I Spy to find a man named Peter. Do you see him? Get out your pretend binoculars. Look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye. Peter! Peter was a fisherman. That means he would get in a boat and go out on a lake to catch fish. Peter believed in Jesus because Peter saw that Jesus is alive with his very own eyes. Jesus told Peter and his other friends that he would come back again. But until then, he wanted them to tell everyone that Jesus is alive. And he wants to be their friends forever. Then he left and went to heaven. Jesus' friends did just what he told them to do. They told everyone everywhere Jesus is alive. He wants to be your friend forever. One day, some men who were different than Peter came and knocked on his door. Knock with me. Ready? Knock, knock, knock. They asked Peter to come to their house and tell all their friends about Jesus. Peter knew that Jesus loves everyone, no matter what they look like or what language they speak or where they live or what they have done. So Peter said he would go to their house even though they were different than him. Do you see someone that Peter can tell about Jesus? Look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye someone Peter can tell about Jesus. Peter told his new friends all about Jesus, even though they were different than him. Peter told them about the amazing things that Jesus did. He told them about how Jesus died and came back and is alive. He told them he knows Jesus is alive because he talked with Jesus and even ate food with him. After Peter told his new friends all about Jesus, they believed in Jesus too because everyone can believe in Jesus. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. Howdy, y'all. Mr. Mark here again. Wow. Peter, he's a cool dude. He told a lot of different people about how much to love Jesus, right? Jesus is alive. He's still up there looking down on us because everyone can believe in Jesus. I think I understand the story. Do you get it? If you get it, give me one, two thumbs up. Here we go again. Do you get it? Oh, you got it. Got it? Get it? Good. All right, here we go. Remember, Jesus is alive and tell everyone about it. Point to him and say, Jesus is alive. He really is. You can tell everybody everywhere that he is your forever friend. I was thinking about it, that I also look in all the hidden words on the paper, and they were reminding me that Jesus is kind of hidden in my heart. People can't see my heart, right? I need to tell everybody, look at my heart. I have Jesus inside it. That was an awesome lesson today where we found hidden words in our heart, like hola and hello, right? I just love Spanish and English. They're so much fun to say, but what I love more is telling how awesome Jesus is and how his Jesus is alive. See y'all later. Hey champs, Mr. Matt here with our WH questions. We have four, count them, one, two, three, four questions. All right, question number one, and this is one that I think we, we kind of know the answer already. First question, who can believe in Jesus? Well, we learned in our story and from Miss Carrie today that everyone, everywhere, can believe in Jesus. All of your friends, people maybe who you're not friends with yet, 
maybe your family, maybe people far away, everyone can believe in Jesus. And that's just the best thing ever, isn't it? We can all believe in Jesus. All right, second question today. Who was Peter? Well, in our story, Peter was the main character, and he started out as a fisherman. But when he met Jesus, Jesus called him out, and he started following Jesus instead of being a fisherman. So in a sense, he became a fisher of men. All right, third question. What are the three things that Jesus wants us to remember? Well, in the story, he had Peter do three things. The first one was tell everyone everywhere about Jesus and that he's alive. But just like we have this whole world, we can tell everyone in the whole world that Jesus is alive. The second thing is that Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you and he loves the whole world so much, just like these two big hearts around the world. It's like Jesus loving all of us. Pretty cool. And the third thing is that Jesus wants to be our friend forever. Forever and ever and ever. For as long as we exist, he wants to be with us. And that's a pretty cool message. All right, and our fourth question today. What did Peter do with people who were different from him? Well, in the story, some people came and knocked on his door and they weren't, they weren't like him. They maybe looked a little different or talked a little different, maybe talked kind of funny, or maybe they were really tall or maybe they're really short, but they didn't look like Peter. They were like Peter. But what he did, he still told them about Jesus. He loved them so much. And the reason is because Jesus doesn't care what's on the outside. Jesus cares what's on our hearts. He cares what's on the inside. And that's something that we can remember too. What's on the inside and what's in our heart is what really matters. All right, see you champs. Okay guys, it's time for our monthly Bible verse. It comes from John chapter 20, verse 31. It says, Jesus is the Son of God, and you will have life because you belong to him. Isn't that awesome that we belong to him? Oh, I love it too. Hi champs, it's time to make our craft today. Today we're gonna to be making a megaphone and we have special words all over it today. Okay, so this is what we're gonna need. We're gonna need a piece of construction paper or cardstock. That just means it's a little bit thicker. Look with me, we have markers, we have a ruler, we have stickers, tape, scissors, and a pencil. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our rectangle shape and our pencil and towards you you're gonna just do like a little we're gonna pretend like it's the sunrise kind of like the sun's coming out over the horizon see like that and we take our ruler and we're gonna go from the tip of the corner all the way to this part of the sunrise we're gonna line it up and we're gonna draw a line like so and we're gonna do it on this side start on the corner it up the best that you can. All right, just like so. Now we're going to cut it out. Kind of looks like light shining, huh? Okay, so let's see what this makes. We're going to cut our arch out and cut the second side out. Now don't throw away your scraps, we're gonna need that in a minute. All right, so now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our markers and we're gonna write special messages on the outside of it. So Miss Carrie started with this one and it says, tell everyone, and see I kinda did a little cloud around it, tell everyone everywhere, Jesus is alive. And then there were some other things that we talked about today. We also talked about how Jesus loves you, 
and I didn't really have a lot of room, so I got creative and I put it on the handle and I said, Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Isn't that cool? And you can decorate it with stickers, Jesus stickers, or anything you have. That's what's really neat about art is you can do it any way you like. But I'm gonna show you how to form your megaphone. So you're gonna roll it up. Now your megaphone is gonna be a little bit bigger on this end and smaller on the other end. So let's get a piece of tape ready. Okay. We are gonna fold. Now, if it doesn't line up perfectly, we can go back in and we can cut it. It's gonna be just fine. See how mine's not lining up? I'm gonna show you a cool trick in just a second. All right, so we're gonna tape it all the way down. Now, I'm gonna just trim it like this. Look, I just go like this. Oh, perfect. This side, I'm gonna line up my edges and then here I have it okay so now with your leftover scrap you're gonna cut a long rectangle watch and I'm gonna trim it so it's even on both sides just like this you take some tape put it on the end and see my side that has all the tape already I'm gonna use that part for my handle I'm gonna tape it like this here we go oops And I'm gonna flip it over. See how it's making a handle? Did you see how I flipped it? And then I add another piece of tape. And there's our megaphone. And we can shout to everybody. We can be like Peter and we can tell everybody everywhere that Jesus is alive and he loves you and he wants to be your friend forever and ever. Isn't that kind of cool, you guys? So I hope you enjoyed this today. Have fun, be creative, do whatever you want. Use whatever stickers you have or markers or whatever. Maybe you wanna paint it. That's what's fun about art, make it your own. All right, you guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey champs, Mr. Mark here. Okay, let's put our arms down together. Close our eyes. And think about what Jesus would say if he was here with us right now. Dear God, we thank you for having you here with us, Jesus. We thank you that we can believe in you. We thank you for the reminder that we believe in you. And whatever people do around us, we just hold out a that's okay card to them. We say, Jesus, it forgives you no matter what you decide to do. We love the person and hate what they do. And that's what we gotta remember right now, God. And we thank you for Champions Club and we thank you for everyone around us. And help us remember, love Jesus, remember and believe in Jesus, and put everything else out of our hearts and only put Jesus in our hearts. There's only room enough for Jesus in our hearts. In your name, amen. amen. Thanks for joining us. You still have time to dive into our virtual SCG Kids Spirit Week. Join us online this week for exciting activities and challenges, prizes, and an SCG Kids Popsicle drive through on Friday the 26th that you won't want to miss. We hope to see you there. Don't forget to join our Zoom meetings. This is a great opportunity to stay connected with buddies and friends. We play games and practice our Bible verse together too. We meet every Sunday at four. You can register online at our church website. For safety, a private link will be sent to you every Sunday. See you there. There are lots of ways to stay connected with us during the week on our website, scgchurch.org, Facebook, and Instagram. Be sure to tag us so we can be a part of your church at home worship experience. We'll see you next week.